We're in Windows Server 2016. Let's take a look at the new task manager. And we simply get there by doing Control Alt Delete on the keyboard and choosing Task Manager, or just right click anywhere on the taskbar and choose Task Manager from there. And we see five different tabs at the top. Looks very similar to 2012. We see that the colors show up a little bit differently. And if you want to add any types of columns, you just right click at the top and you can check some of these different columns. One of the ones I recommend is the process ID. And the reason for that is because the process ID works across all the different tabs. So process ID number 456, for instance, here equals the same thing under details and services, which I'll show you in a second. All right, so let's go to uh, processes and right here you can see all the different processes running. If we see any with a carrot next to it, it's got some sub processes going on. And if you wanted to end any of the processes, you can just right click and choose end task. So I'll show you that really quickly. Let's go ahead and launch notepad. And we'll just minimize that. And then we're going to see in here, if we go by name, we see notepad. And we can just right click and choose to end that task. And now it's gone. Let's take a look at the CPU and memory. If you want to, you can sort by CPU simply by clicking on the CPU tab or by memory. And it tells you what's using the majority of the RAM. And you can expand these columns as well. Let's go ahead and click on the performance tab and from here we can see the CPU, the RAM or memory, what's going on with the Ethernet, and if you have more than one Ethernet card it shows that as well. If you want you can also do a summary view and keep that in your corner if you want. Makes it easy to work on other things at the time. You can also just go to show graphs and you can see little miniature graphs as well which becomes more apparent when you go to summary view. And if you'd like to you can sort of get a an idea of what's going on in more detail by clicking on the open resource monitor and that actually gives you even more detail especially on the disk area. But we can go into that in another video. Now we're in the Users tab, and you can see any users that are currently logged into the server, and of course it's just me. If you hit the Expand, you can see all of the different types of services that the administrator is using. Now if you see another user on here and it's not you, then you could be hacked. So you can just right-click on that person, and you can choose Disconnect, and then reset the password for the user that's on there, such as the administrator, so they can't get back in. Clicking on the details, we can see the executables that are running all of the processes over here and the services over here. So these three tabs work together and you can see the process ID. And if we sort by process ID, we can once again see that 456 that we saw earlier. So if we right click on that, we can choose to go to services and we can see the matching service that matches up to 456. Now in this particular case, I'm not sure there is one. Let's see. Nope, there's no service that is also an executable in that particular PID. Let's do it the other direction. Though. Let's go to services and let's go ahead and right click on one of those. And let's choose one that has a details. And here we see one that's both a service and something that's running as an executable, Microsoft SQL Server. Click on Go to Details, and we can see SQLServe.exe here at the bottom. And on Services, if we wanted to, we can see what's running here, and we can right-click, and we can choose to stop or restart any service here. We can also open the Services program for a little bit more detail. And if we want to, we can search online to see what that service actually is. And here's another service that has a detail, so you can click on that. 
and we can see the appv client.exe is also tied to that particular service. And one of the advantages of being able to see the service is if you get stuck where the service says that it's stopping or starting, you in the past would have to restart the server. But if you do this trick, you can right click and go to the details and you can just end the executable and that will cause the service to stop as well because once the executable stopped, then the service will go from stopping or starting to nothing and you can go ahead and restart the service at that time without having to reboot the whole computer. Also, if you go to Event Viewer, sometimes you'll see a PID number, and what's handy about that is if you see an error and it has a PID, then you can match it up to the PID in Services, Details, or Processes. And that way you can see what service or executable might be causing the error. So that's a, an overview of the task manager in Windows Server 2016.